Hey guys, what is going on? I'm here back with another video and today let's talk about XRP. Now, there's been this super interesting article. First of all, we broke a, a lot of barriers this past weekend with the 66 six cent um, resistance level, but this article is amazing. You definitely want to stay till the end to, to really see the three different reasons why I think it's a, one of the best times to buy if you're interested or looking into XRP. Now, this article is titled Ripple XRP price crosses 66 cents first time in six months. Three signals traders much must watch. Now, this actually pointed out very well of the three different things that you need to keep a keep a look out of to see if we're going to push past this point or if we're going to stay below these levels. So as of right now, XRP is about 4% down, but even then it sits at 62 cents. But that's also because of the, the, the different um, catalysts that are coming out right now. And, and really, this is more just a correction. But looking at the positive things that are that are happening with CZ, um, Binance coming out of jail and, and with the elections coming up, there's a lot of positives to look at here. Now, why is Ripple or XRP price going up? XRP price has skyrocketed 13% over the weekend, reaching a high a six month high on September 29th, Marcus analysts hint that the rally could be linked to a whale accumulation ahead of the launch of their RLUSD stablecoin. Now, this is Ripple's version of like USDT or USDC. Essentially, they created their own stablecoin and upon the launch or a speculation of the launch uh, is really what's driving the price here. RLUSD launch and ETF plans is behind XRP rally. The Ripple's XRP price rose 13% of the weekend, hitting a six month high of 66 cents. This rally has been linked to several key factors. Now, one significant significant catalyst is the excitement surrounding Ripple's RLUSD, which is a USD pegged stablecoin. RLUSD is in a private beta testing on the XRP ledger and Ethereum, and its launch is expected to bolster Ripple's ecosystem, especially in cross-border payments. Now, this was a quote by the senior research analyst uh, into the block. There is a lot of anticipation around the XRP's launch of, of their RLUSD stablecoin and how it integrates into the DeFi space. It take, it, if that takes off, we could see a major boost in XRP utility and adoption. There are also ongoing efforts to create an XRP ETF, which would which could be uh, have a significant impact on XRP's performance. The promise of regulatory compliance, regular audits and transparency has, has attracted investor interest, which likely contributes to the, the recent price jump that we've seen. And then on top of that, uh, the very famous uh, Binance founder CZ was released from prison early on September 27th, which also kind of pushed the market in a positive direction. If you look at the time where he was he was released, so the catalyst came out or it became public news, uh, the market really did pump here um, overall. The chart above shows that XRP price rally closely coincided with CZ's prison release. As of September 27th, XRP has traded as low as 58 cents, but since the return, it's up 13.5%. Now, even though CZ right now is currently pretty much banned from managing any sort of major publicly traded company, uh, he still he still controls a significant share in a lot of the different exchanges and obviously has a very uh, a wide portfolio of cryptocurrencies as well. Um, moving on, the U.S. presidential candidates and how it really affects. Um, let's talk about how it really affects um, the market overall. The perceived improvement in the regulatory landscape has likely played a role. Both major U.S. presidential candidates have taken a more favorable stance towards crypto reg regulations, providing hope for clear regulatory frameworks in the future. Now, for a very long time, SEC pretty much hated anything that had to do with cryptocurrencies, whether it was uh, their case with Bitcoin, whether it was the same case that they had with XRP being treated as a security or, or accused of being treated as a security. SEC has had a long history of their battles against cryptocurrencies overall. But now with the new, new president, the presidents or whichever one wins between these two, uh, Trump or Harris, they, they are already showing favorable uh, siding with cryptocurrency where they want to uh, increase the, the chances of adoption and everything along those lines. And so if either of them win, it's pretty good news. Uh, but in my personal opinion, if Trump wins, that sends the, the price completely in a different realm than where it is right now, uh, making turning everything into a bull market pretty much. As of September 30th, data called from predictions market platform, the, uh, the, the, it shows that Kamala Harris is currently in the lead. Uh, both 
Trump and Kamala have promised a friendlier stance towards crypto. Notably, XRP price and ecosystem growth was severely impeded as it struggled under a prolonged legal battle with the SEC um, and with Biden over the last four years. Hence, the prospect of a more supportive regulatory uh, government body it's from the United States is, is really going to incentivize investors to put their money back into XRP. It's going to incentivize exchanges to, to relist XRP, which is exactly uh, what we need for the price to hit the next resistance levels. Now, let's look at how possible the 75 cent um, breakout is. At the time of writing on September 30th, XRP has retraced to the 64 cent level. However, analysts uh, have hinted that the rally may advance further towards the 75 cent level in the weeks ahead. The chief research analyst said, based on technical analysis and market sentiment, XRP's movement in October may fluctuate between 42 cents and 75 cents with the potential for an upward breakout. Given the extremely optimistic market sentiment, if the if there is the ongoing SEC uh, appeal process to yield a positive outcome, XRP may advance towards a high, higher prices. However, short term, Caution is due to market volatility. Obviously, um, being in cryptocurrency for many, many years, you really learned that that you you don't you shouldn't place all your eggs in the same basket just because it's a very volatile market at the end of the day. From a technical perspective, the MACD, uh, which is another uh, chart indicator that that investors and institutional investors use to kind of dictate whether or not not dictate but predict whether or not it's, it's going to be um, a price. Uh, there's going to be price action in terms of in terms of a bull move or a bear move it shows that there's going to be bullish momentum with a positive crossover in early september the histograms of green bars indicate increasing buying interest though the slight decrease in the latest bar signal of potential short-term profit taking uh, which again is very normal that's that's where you call the correction correction phase where the price essentially corrects and where the people who invested prior to this event of the 13 percent gain on the on the market um they just they're securing profits and they're essentially just taking a little bit of profits off the table and that's essentially why there's been a bit of a pullback and there probably will be a further pullback two key resistance levels to watch here are 66 cents which represents the high from most recent price spike and 70 cents a psychological level where a breakout could lead to a further bullish mo momentum if xrp can breach these levels particularly if positive news from the ongoing sec appeal surfaces we may see the crypto push towards 75 cents and beyond on the support side, 60 cents is critical. If bulls manage to maintain at this level, we should we would signal sustained upward momentum. Below this 53 offers support. Again, these are they're just what they're doing here is they're looking at uh, they're looking at pretty much the different um, they're looking at the different resistances and supports at the top and the bottom just to see where if the price were to hit this and hold, if it were a support, then the bulls would be, there would be further bull momentum or there'd be, um, it would, the market would be on the bull side. But if it hits, for example, a resistance and it really did reject, um, then there's a, a possible uh, bullish or bearish move to the bottom. Uh, and uh, of course, it's gonna go and re retest the, the, the lower levels at 53 cents and 60 cents overall. 70 cents is also, um, pretty much a psychological barrier where it, where um, XRP hasn't crossed 70 cents in a really long time. And 66 cents is very close to 70, but at the same time, um, it usually takes a larger push, a more positive catalyst, more catalysts that come out that really do push past these psychological barriers that traders in general have, or as uh, pretty much any human has, if, if whether it's 70 cents, if it's 80 cents. And the same goes for the bottom side as well, where if it pushes below, Low 60 cents that'll definitely be a bearish move um for for the price action overall but long term it's it's obviously i i, I do think it's going to be very bullish um in terms of what i think if if you're you should invest now or not is is pretty much if you're if you're ever interested in, in something and you really want to see if you really want to, you don't know if you should invest now or wait. My advice is don't try to time the market. At, at, at the end of the day, like if you believe in, in a company, if you believe in uh, the solutions a company provides, uh, and if you think that 
it's effective enough and there's there's going to be enough adoption of that solution then you should invest at the early earliest you possibly can because at the end of the day it's there's no better time to invest than now but only if it is a company you believe in well if you look at the positive the, the catalysts that are going on uh, right now with the presidential election which is always great q4 is here which is always great um, a, a lot of um, a lot of volume a lot of whale accumulation um, on, and on top of that a lot of the tech indicators like the RSI and the MACD are really pointing towards uh, bullish momentum uh, and in that case I mean CZ, CZ Binance coming out of jail early like all, a lot of these are very positive because it moves the overall market direction to a bullish market and obviously XRP is definitely going to follow and once it breaks these psychological barriers and these other resistances we will definitely see um, way higher pricing than we've seen before but of course, it's not financial advice. This is just my opinion of how things are going to unfold. That is all for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You think it's gonna. You think it's going to reject on the resistance side, or you think it's gonna reject to support levels, or at fifty three cents or at sixty cents. Let me know. Uh, thanks once again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.